Hey guys, Jeremy from Duramax Tuner Calibrated Power. Behind me I have our third gen Cummins. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna get to the turbo and I'm gonna show you how to set up and boost test these trucks. And how, what I'm gonna show you is gonna work on pretty much any platform truck once you're to the face of the turbo. So let's dig into it. So I already went ahead and did step, step one here. Step one is mounting the stealth boost tester. This is actually the face plate that's gonna bolt to the front of the turbocharger and then with the T-bolt clamp and torque to the front of the turbo. Different trucks are gonna take different style uh, flanges and different style clamps, but it's the same concept for pretty much any truck. All right guys, step two is gonna be grabbing your regulator source and then connecting it to the face plate of the turbocharger. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to move to step three here and that's gonna be connecting our shop air to our regulator. Before we can hook our shop air to our regulator, we need to set the regulator. So first thing you need to do is you need to make sure your valve is off and your regulator is all the way out. So after your valve is off and your regulator is all the way out, we can go ahead and we can take the air hose and we can connect it. Once your air hose is connected, we can go ahead and we can turn our shop air on and then we can start adjusting the regulator pressure up. So we'll go ahead, we'll start moving our regulator pressure up and I like to start at a really low pressure. Um, I recommend five to 10 PSI to start with. That way, if there is a big leak in the truck, you're gonna be able to hear it and identify it really quickly. So we'll, let's go ahead and we'll start with five. I don't hear anything at five. I'm gonna start going up to 10. And at 10, I don't really hear any big leaks. Then now I'm gonna push it up to 20. So right around 20 PSI, I'm gonna leave it there. And I recommend leaving it there for about 30 seconds to a minute before you shut any of your air off, because that's gonna put a lot of air in the system. It's gonna pressurize the whole system. So once you get around 20 PSI and you're happy with it, go ahead and shut your air off. And once your air is off, you're gonna start watching your numbers on your gauge. You're gonna watch that drop and it's going to drop no matter what. What I like to see is I like to see it drop very minimal. So around one pound to one and a half pounds per second. Uh, what I want to do is I want to walk around the truck while it's pressurized and I want to look at all my connections, boot connections or the intake runners and the turbocharger itself. And I want to actually listen and put my hands around the boots and the clamps and physically see if I could feel air or hear air around those connections, especially around, you know, your intercooler itself, turbocharger and the intake runner on a Cummins or Duramax, any truck that you're boost testing, basically. Um, if you can't hear it, doesn't mean you don't have a leak. So another good thing to do is a little bit of soapy water and actually spray those connections with soapy water and see if the, any bubbles form around any of those connections as well as to tell if you actually have a very small boost leak. If you think that you have a little bit more air dropping or your gauge is dropping a little bit faster than you would like is another idea or another good thing to do by checking these trucks out. So any little bit of leak on these trucks uh, is not good. So we try to get them sealed up as much as possible. And that's why we boost test as much as we can. So, all right guys, well, I hope this helps you out and we'll see you next time.